and my brothers and sisters. Welcome to BKR Online Education. So what date is today? Today is August 7th. And what day is today? Today is Friday. Now it is already afternoon. It is already 2.30. I will ask you, did you have your lunch? Did you have Did you have your breakfast? Night lo adgalante, did you have your dinner? Alagadgochu. Did you have your lunch? Yes, I had. No, I didn't have a chapati. Yes, I had. No, I didn't have. I have to have. I will have after some time. Punche pain kintano. Legante. Get to have in Ali. I won't have today because I am fasting. It's Friday. Alik chapachu. I won't have. Taught you about yesterday. Going back to the previous class, I have to usage of present perfect continuous tense and past perfect continuous tense. <coughs> Sorry. Present perfect continuous says the action which had already happened in the past exists now or which began in the past exists now and continues in the future. And past it doesn't exist. It is over. That is the difference between present perfect continuous tense and past perfect continuous tense. In case of present perfect continuous tense, we make use of I, U, V, day have been plus ing. In case of he, she, it name has plus been plus ing. Have been and has been. In case of past perfect continuous tense, we use of had been plus been, had been plus verb plus ing. That means action over. Yes. I'll give you a small example once again. Where do you work? Sir, I work in Infosys. Where do you work? How long have you been working there? How long have you been working there? I will say, I have been working there for the past 15 years or I have been working there since 2005. I repeat. How long have you been working there? Because the action which happened in 2005, it exists and it is continuing Till I resign, till I quit the job. How long have you been working there? I have been working there since 2005. For the past 15 years, like that, I can see. Suppose I have worked in Infosys. Now I have quit the job two years ago. How would I say? I had been working in Infosys for the past 12 years. We don't make use of since. Since will not appear yet. In case of present perfect continuous sense, we make use of since as well as far or any one you can see. Okay, this is about I had told you about yesterday. Today, what I'll do is today I will teach you about genders, some facts. So, gender means what? <clears throat> there are four types of genders. Masculine gender means male. Feminine gender means female. And common gender. Common gender means either male or female. Anachapta. When it comes to what is the, one more gender is there known as neuter gender. One more gender is there. <coughs> neuter gender. What does the masculine gender say? Masculine gender means anything male, human being or animal. Feminine gender means female. Male ante magadang, female ante aradi ani mata. 
సో దీంట్లో హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ చూస్తారు అనిమల్స్ చూస్తారు కామన్ జెండర్ అంటే ఐదర్ మేల్ ఆర్ ఎ ఫీమేల్ ఐ గివ్ సమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఎ చైల్డ్ ఎ చైల్డ్ కెన్ బి ఎ మేల్ ఆర్ ఎ ఫీమేల్ ఎ స్టూడెంట్ కెన్ బి ఐదర్ ఎ మేల్ ఆర్ ఎ ఫీమేల్ హీ ఈస్ మై స్టూడెంట్ షీ ఈస్ మై స్టూడెంట్ దిస్ చైల్డ్ ఇట్స్ బాయ్ ఆర్ గర్ల్ లైక్ ఇట్ కెన్ సీ మేల్ బేబీ ఫీమేల్ బేబీ బేబీ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఏ కామన్ జెండర్ any designation so one by one i will tell so masculine means male feminine means female common means either male or female and neuter means neither male nor female even male or leda female ledu there only you can speak about things that is called neuter gender this is called neither male nor female are called neuter <coughs> gender now i will tell you i will give a big list of genders what are the big list yeah. you can see for example man women man is masculine gender woman is feminine gender you can say boy girl boy is masculine gender girl is feminine gender. coming to like that <coughs> father mother brother sister father brother sorry father mother brother sister okay nephew niece nephew ante your sisters or brothers elder sister or elder brothers younger sister or younger brother younger sister son is called nephew if it is a daughter she is called niece the spelling is n e p h e w niece means n i e c e so uncle aunty grandfather grandmother grandfather is male grandmother is female like that you have to say okay father in law mother in law father in law means husband's father or wife's father mother in law means wife's mother or father or husband's mother or husband's mother <coughs> mother in law so grandfather grandmother son in law daughter in law alludu kodal son in law daughter in law like that you can say and one more thing is step father step mother step father step mother and if a person is if a lady is married and the husband dies she marries one more person so he is called the step father for her son modle oka biddu undunte kodko kootunte so i am my i am by cheptado when she marries a second person that is second husband he is called the step father he is called the step father the boy or the girl will say he is my step father if a man is there when the wife dies and he marries another lady so she will become the step mother for his children so e abai ki bidil puttunte one or two those children will call her as step mother but step father step mother is there but we should not say in relation they will not say he is my step father she is my step mother like that they will not say <clears throat> coming to same thing the second father will say that the second father will say if the lady has already had children he will say he is my step son or step daughter similarly with there also wife husband will also say he is my step son or a step daughter so you should not say you should directly say but in gender it is like that i want to tell you the difference to you to know the what do you mean by step father what do you mean by step mother what do you mean by step son what do you mean by step daughter idanta artham kiyalen nenu cheptanan kani toru cheppo okay so when called a widow he is called a widower w i d o w i d o w e r so he is called a widower 
but nobody should say he is a widower my friend is a widower my sister is a widow like nobody you should not say nobody should say like that he is a widower she is a widow like that chop kodu so this is about the relationship okay now coming to <coughs> i told you about grandson granddaughter okay now coming to about the designations head master head mistress and the man is head master you say that as head master if he is a man if she is a lady you say head mistress m i s t r e s s then hero heroine huntress don't know where to look for a person who goes for hunting in a jungle <coughs> he is called a hunter if a lady goes she is called the huntress and once again husband wife husband so their children is called prince and princess the son of a king is called princess daughter of a king is called princess the only thing is to yes you have to p r i n c e s s lord lady landlord the male will be landlord because he is the owner of the land when the owner of the land is a lady you call her as land lady okay then <clears throat> man servant you say nobody will say man servant so she is called a maid a lady servant is called a maid okay excuse me excuse me lady servant is called a maid should not say male servant maid servant you have to just say servant the servant is commonly it is known as a maid when you want to say for a lady you have to say maid okay coming to master mistress headmaster headmistress so who is the headmaster of your school so so and so vikram ashok suresh ramesh or uh, nasimaya or something he is the mess master and who is the headmistress of your school nirmala swati priya arinti you can say mistress m i s t r e s s the other gender of headmaster is headmistress principal is a common noun coming to monk monk ante sanyasi for a male you say monk for a lady you say nun in you and nun example vivekananda was a monk swami vivekananda was a monk mother teresa was the nun like that you can see both are no more so mr and mrs when you are addressing anything on the invitation or when you are giving a letter to someone you have to that is called mr that is called salutation a respective mr and taro mrs and taro <coughs> mrs and taro if she is married right m r s yes. if she is not married you have to write m i s s okay do you understand this is about then papa mama dad mom okay why poetess when somebody wants to address a poet a person who writes poem is called a poet a lady is called a poetess p o e t e s s poetess so similarly like policeman police woman so the common name is constable he is a police constable she is a police constable police is a common noun it can you can use the police for a man or a lady coming to postman a postman is there in the post office what is the duty of a postman he delivers letters to each and every house he delivers letter to each and every house if the person happens to be a lady she is called a postwoman she is called a postwoman priest priestess priest a person who performs puja in a temple is called a priest when a lady sits there and performs puja she is called the priestess p r i e t e s s okay ila ila sutta then <coughs> sir madam so for male you call sir for lady you call madam or ma'am m a you have to put a 
like this. How do you write map like this? M A dash A M. It should be double A M A apostrophe and one more A M. It's called map, or you can say madam. Okay, yes. Coming to sir, madam, son, daughter, son-in-law, daughter-in-law. I told you stepfather, stepmother, stepson, step daughter like that. So video over video, I told you when the husband, when the wife is dead, the person is called video over. When the husband is dead, the lady is called the video. But we should not say her husband is no more. Alak chapala. Okay. Ali at the signature petrol. This I'm telling you about because this is a gender. Wizard which mantram kesar kada mantra vadi antar vangi. Wizard male ki wizard. W I Z A R D is called wizard. The lady is called the witch. W I T C H. So this is about the human beings. Now coming to coming to animals. Coming to animals. What are the animals? We saw the animals you call from male. What you call? I got a very very small list. I don't have a big list. So common we speak that I have. <clears throat> for for donkey you call male donkey you call jackass. J A C K Jack A S S. You don't say he donkey, she donkey, or male donkey or female donkey. You say jackass, or you can say Jenny. You can say Jack means it's a male donkey. Jenny means it's a female donkey. For a pig, you say boar. B O A R, not B U R E. B O R E is make a hole bore well. You have to say boar. B O A R is called the wild pig male. And yes, O W is called a female. So bull cow, you know. Bull cow, no. Yaddu anaka aavore mata. Okay. Coming to cat. Coming to cat. How do you call a male cat? Male cat you call as Tom cat. T O M Tom. For female you call as Tabby cat. T A B B A Y Tabby cat. You don't say he cat or she cat, we call Tom cat or Tabby cat. Yeah. For coming to dog is a male. The female is called bitch. B I T C H. But you should not say bitch is a bad word. It is used in other terms. That is a bad word. You should not use. They usually they speak in foreign countries. So they say she is a bitch and all. Are they chatting about the matter? Okay. So a prostitute is called a bitch. So we should not say. For a dog, you should not say. You can say it's a she dog or call it some name. You should not say if you happen to see a female dog, don't say it is a bitch. Say it's she dog. If you happen to see a male dog, you say he dog like that. It is he or she. You should not call a female dog a bitch. That is wrong. That is unpleasant word, unparliamentary word. Okay. For <clears throat> yeah, drake duck bath calling the kind of body bath drake duck. Drake is a male, duck is a female. And for eagle, it is eagle only. The eagle which flies high in the air. There is a common gender. For male also you call eagle. For female also you call eagle. Yeah. Now coming to coming to fox, nari. Fox is a male. So female is called vixen. V I E X E N vixen. The male is called fox. The female is called vixen. And bath call you go to goose center goose for five kgs or six kgs of the goose. The male is called gander, G A N D E R. The female is called goose, G O O G O O S E is called goose, and the plural is called geese, G E E S E. Goose means singular, geese means plural, gander means male. Goose means female. No, yeah. Coming to coming to elephant. Coming to elephant. What is a male elephant called? What is a female elephant called? What is a baby elephant called? So everybody will be having this confusion. So what it is called? So this question, particularly about elephant and peacock, it is asked in IPS, IAS exams, or in some competitive exams like railway board or the banking exam. They ask. 
so these 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 are the common words so the male elephant is called bull the female elephant is called cow and the baby elephant is called calf like that you have to say i repeat what is the male elephant called the male elephant is called bull the female elephant is called cow the baby elephant is called calf so we're coming to male and female sir for male also we say peacock for female also we say peacock it is wrong cock is there peacock is a male and what is the female called female is called pea hen what is the baby called it's got pea chick p e a c h i c k it's called pea chick okay so i told you about pigeon pigeon parvala pigeon parvai chapter we call cock pigeon or hen pigeon like that you can say so coming to sheep s h e p sheep the name is eve e w e okay so another for lion tiger and all what do you call for lion is a male the female is called lioness l i o n e s s tiger is a male t i g e r tiger tigress t i i the tiger tigress and lioness only female will go for hunting yatrade koyedi aadadave mogu podu so the male will take care of the young ones sit in one place the lioness or the tigress will hunt and get the food for the male so you should remember this lion will not hunt tiger will not hunt in leopard also it will not hunt leopards so all the female will hunt like bee so bee what do you call teen purugu ki choptaru bee mogadan ki choptaru drone the english name for bee is the male is called drone the female is called bee or called honey bee or called queen bee so what happens here is the bee will go far away places to see the flowers collect nectar from the flower nectar mean the sweet portion available in the flowers if you take a flower and you put your finger and just taste it you could find the sweetest taste that is called nectar n e c t a r that it will collect from the flower it will store it in its mouth it gets mixed with saliva that saliva is is put on the bee hive it is known as honey the saliva is put there it is the saliva of the bee is called honey and one more beautiful thing for honey is in general knowledge some facts is that honey has no expiry date in some facts i will tell you no honey has no expiry date we can keep it for one year two years five years 10 years after 3 years 100 years unless you add anything to it it will not get spoiled so the honey is the only food item where there is no expiry date we can keep for any number of years and use it so this is about the genders masculine and feminine male and tnt female and tnt i told you about human beings and animals now coming to common gender common gender tnt sir common gender is also it is either male or a female all designations are common gender electrician engineer auditor accountant cashier so all chair person we say guide pilot guide so he is a guide she is a guide any person who guides you to some destination who takes care of you you the person who guides you is called a guide a guide can be a male or a female okay like that the person suppose there is no now they have removed the name as chairman there is no chairman if a lady comes and sits in that place she what she is called what she is called she can you call her as chairwoman because she is a lady you cannot call a lady as chairman chair and they made it as chair person so this is how it is that police politician he is an actor she is also an actor before the other gender of actor was actress and only the oka kalam lo only the now they have removed that name actress so even aishwarya rao is an actor deepika padukone is an actor priyanka chopra is an actor 
So something like that. Maybe or even the female is an actor. Salman Khan is an actor. Amir Khan is an actor. Akshay Kumar is an actor. Deepika Padukone is an actor. Priyanka Chopra is an actor. For female also, you have to. This is wrong. It has been removed. Now coming to artist. A R T I S T. If you just simply say artist, the person who knows to paint and draw sketches on the board or on the book anywhere, the person who knows to draw and paint is an artist. One more artist is there. A R T I S T E. If you add E to that, he is an actor. Artist means it can. It is a different group. Only there, there the simple change as E. So. If you add E to that, he becomes an actor, singer, dancer, musician, a person who plays guitar, a person who plays violin, trumpet, piano, keyboard, tabla, or drums. So he also is an artist. So there you have to use E after T. A R T I S T E is artist. The spelling difference is there, but the pronunciation is the same. He is an artist. He paints and draws. So one more thing is, artist is he is not the person who paints and draws, but he acts in the movies. He is a dancer. He is a singer. He is a actor. So all these people are called artists. Okay. Now coming to, I told you about this is about the common gender. Actor is a common gender, either male or female. Artist is a common gender, either male or a female, as a female. All designations. He is an MLA. She is an MP. He is a minister. She is a minister. He is the chairperson. She is the chairperson. Okay. He is the chief minister. She is the chief minister. Mamta Banerjee is the chief minister. She has to say. He is the president. She is the president. He is the prime minister. She is the prime minister. Indira Gandhi was the prime minister. You have to say she is the prime minister. Like that you can say. Pratibha Patil was the president. So all these designations are either male or female. So for male, what do you call a president? President only. For female, what do you call a president? President only. For MLA, what do you call for a male? MLA only. For female also, MLA. MP, MP. Minister, minister. Okay, only in some places like headmistress, headmaster, principal is common, sir. Principal is a common gender. He is the common gender means either male or female. So did you understand? Now coming to neuter gender. Neuter gender is neither male nor female. Okay. All things will come there. So animals will not come. Human beings will not come. Things means pen, book, duster, board, table, chair, teapot, dining table, computer, Xerox machine, tree, fruit, isn't it? There is no something like male fruit or female fruit. There is nothing like male tree or female tree. It's just a fruit, tree, banana. So all non-living things are called neutral gender. It can be a bike. It can be a car, it can be a plane or anything like that. Yeah. So coming to pilot. A pilot is a person <coughs> who drives the plane, who flies in the plane. Isn't it? He is called the pilot. And the person who drives the steam engine or the train is called loco pilot. Called loco pilot. The person who drives the plane is called a pilot. Maybe a pilot may be a male or a female. He is a pilot. She is a pilot. So pilot is a common gender. Here, yeah, loco pilot. Loco pilot means a person who drives the steam engine or a train. The person who drives the ship is called officer or captain. The person who drives the ship is called an officer or the captain. So this is about the yeah, neutral gender. 
मैस्कुलिन जेंडर मींस ऑल मेल्स फेमिलिन जेंडर मींस ऑल फीमेल कॉमन जेंडर मींस आइदर मेल और फीमेल न्यूट्रल जेंडर मींस नाइदर मेल नॉर फीमेल दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू से नो व्हाट यू डू डेली यू टेक अ वर्ड लाइक आई दो आई इज अ लेटर कैपिटल आई इज अ लेटर बट इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ पर्सन आई एंड नेनो ఒక వ్యక్తిని కనపడుతుంది ఒక వ్యక్తిని ఇట్ పాయింట్ షౌట్స్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హీ ఈస్ అ పర్సన్ ఆర్ షీ ఈస్ అ పర్సన్ ఇజంట్ ఇట్ సో ఐ ఈస్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ వర్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఇంగ్లీష్ డిక్షనరీ డోంట్ సే సర్ ఈజ్ ఈస్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ వర్డ్ అట్ ఈస్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ వర్డ్ ఆల్ ఈస్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ వర్డ్ ఓకే బై ఈస్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ వర్డ్ సో ఆల్ దిస్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ నాట్ స్మాలెస్ట్ వర్డ్ దే ఆర్ కాల్డ్ టు లెటర్ వర్డ్ బట్ ద సింగిల్ లెటర్ వర్డ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ది సి how many words how many sentences you can make <laughs> i hope you would have understood what i taught you today i told you about genders there are four types of gender masculine gender male feminine gender female common gender either male or female i gave you lots of examples neuter gender means neither male nor female here also i gave you lot of examples this you should remember now coming to i i told you i is the smallest word in english dictionary so what you take take for example i you make any number of sentences every day what you do if you want to learn english take one word something like air something like water pen is used pen is used to write isn't it we fill ink in the pen pen is used to write okay i carry pen with me always to office we write with pen he has two pens i have one pen like that you make some sentences with pen what all comes to your mind you can make now i'm giving you an example of just how to make i then afterwards i'll tell you about the facts i and any i any sentence we say to the matter any word not only i you take he you take she small letter you take words he or he is my father he is my son where is he what is he doing a i count any sentences frame out of any sentence to watch he is watching tv he is drinking water he is my friend he is not my friend he is my cousin he is a student he goes to school by bus like that you can frame any number of sentences if you want to learn english what you think is you have to make an attempt always make an attempt if you don't make an attempt even what else you will not get see for example i told you a small story a small story about the thirsty crow you thirsty crow you might have read this in your first standard second standard your teacher might have told you about the thirsty crow very old i read some i think if i remember some 60 years before a teacher told the story about the thirsty crow dan ki dag avutundi okay crow kaaki kaaki ki dag avutundi em chestundi anamata so a thirsty there is a crow it feels thirsty it goes in search of water in into the garden it sees water wherever it could find the water but it could not find water anywhere at last eventually or finally it saw a picture below the tree picture in a small pot it saw a picture below the tree and it went there peeped into the picture like this peeped into the picture like this and saw there was only little water it could not reach the water unable to drink so the crow thought of an idea and when a crow can think of an idea why not man a crow thought of an idea it used its brains it collected small pebbles on the ground it collected small pebbles on the ground each one 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 by one it dropped into the picture picture means spot p i t c h e r it collected small pebbles from the ground dropped one by one into the picture 
after some time the level of water raised to the brim brim ante pile vachindi anamata the level of the water raised so it drank the water and quenched its thirst dagum arpaindi anki it drank the water faster than the thirst and flew away happily so what i mean to say is if the crow had not made up its mind if the crow had not made up its mind it would not have got water to drink it made up the mind mind and attempt we make up the mind but we don't make an attempt it made an attempt then it got the water like that anything if you want to learn anything not only learning english emana nerchukunalante first meer prayatnam cheyala you should make an attempt if you don't make an attempt you can't do any work if you don't make an attempt from go from here to there you can't go so during this covid people have walked some hundreds and hundreds of kilometers 150 kilometers 200 kilometers 300 kilometers you might have read in the newspaper they made an attempt to go to the trees the place because there was no transport facility there was no bus facility there was no train facility people walk a long distance to reach their hometown so so they made an attempt if you are not made an attempt they would not have reached like that learning english is very easy you should make an attempt to learn anything anything is easy provided you have to make an attempt okay now i told you about i so you can see how many sentences you can make in a i can make 100 sentences likewise you can also make if you think of that so i is already can make a name here i am chiranjeevi from nellore something like that i am chiranjeevi from nellore i already taught you about the when you are going to when you are giving self introduction you you have to say like this and you can say i speak i speak telugu at home i speak telugu at home like that you can say i am a businessman business person you should say not don't say businessman that is outdated <coughs> any designation i am a lecturer i am an engineer i am an artist i am an actor i am an mla i am a minister i am a cashier in the bank i am the manager i am the principal anything you can say i am the headmaster i am the minister like that you can say all designation you can say so that is used for i am i am at the bus stop i am in my hometown i am in london i am in my friend's house i am in my sister's house like that you can say i am sitting in the park you can say like that then afterwards one more thing you can say about your physical activities i am strong i am weak i am tall i am short isn't it i am tired i am happy i am unhappy i am rich i am poor these things you will not say yourself i am intelligent i am clever i am brilliant you should not say somebody else has to say me 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 choppu kodu i am very intelligent i am very bright i am very clever me me choppu kodu in course the fall he is intelligent she is bright she is clever somebody has to tell you you should not boast yourself certain things so you should not tell yourself all the other things what i said now that you can say i am tired i am unhappy i am restless you can say like that i am rich i am poor i am angry i am hungry i am thirsty dagam i am hungry i am angry okay like that you can say so about that you can say location and also you can use the word for ing the action which is happening the action which was happening you can use all the tense for i i speak telugu at home okay i am a teacher everything can say so i think you can say i am reading i am resting i am relaxing i am having my lunch i have a bike negative also you can say 
I don't have a car. I have a bike. So, how many sentences you can make with I? You can say either positive or negative. I am coming to your house. I am not coming to your house. I eat non-veg like this. I. You take a word like this. He, she, it. You make some sentences and try to speak. Automatically come to you. Unless you make an attempt, it won't come. So this is about I. This is about I. Okay. So you can say yes. I in general you can say I am teaching English. I was teaching English. I will be teaching English. You can use all twelve cent uh, tenses for I. I will come for everywhere you come. So I is the smallest word in English dictionary. Say for example, air. What is air? Gal. <clears throat> what is the percentage of oxygen present in the air? So you say air is very much essential. Without air, without oxygen, no animals and birds can live. Is it? So what is the percentage of oxygen present in air? Twenty-one percent. What is the percent of nitrogen present in air? Seventy-eight percent. One percent will be other gas. So this air, air in Bangalore is polluted. Air in De Delhi is polluted. We should breathe fresh air. We should breathe fresh oxygen. We cannot live without oxygen or air. When there is no air, everybody will die in few minutes. So air is very essential for us. So we breathe. It's it is it is called life. Air is called life. Water is called life. Okay, it is called life. Where is life? Somebody asked me. Is it inside the body or outside the body? Something like a machine. When you supply air, oxygen, that is life. When you drink water, that is life. When you eat something, that is life. So the life is outside the body, but not inside the body. What are the examples? Air, water, food, heat, sun. If there is no heat, man will die. Our body should have some temperature. That is called room temperature. Our body should be warm. If our body is not warm, that means the fellow will die. Have you ever touched a dead body? You touch a dead body and see it will be chill, it will be cold. So it will be warm only when our body, when you are alive. So heat, there is no soil. You cannot grow any crop. So all these are called life. Okay. So you take anything a word like that and you can make. For example, you take water. Water is what? Water is a necessity. Water is essential for our life. We cannot human beings, human beings, plants and animals cannot live without water. We need water to drink. We need water to cook. We need water to wash, have bath. We need water to for cultivation to grow crops. Water is everywhere, isn't it? Seventy percent of the water is covered. The land surface is covered by seventy percent of water. Sea water is salty. The water we drink is only two point five percent, but we it is available only to zero point seven five per seven five percent to our to human consumption. So one point seven five percent has been wasted, and it is in the form of <coughs> snow. So it is it goes into the sea. What I told you about I? How many sentences you can make with I to write on your own? And I told you about the genders. Four genders are there: masculine gender, male; feminine gender, female; and neuter gender, as I neither male nor female. Okay, I'm coming to <clears throat> common gender, either male or female. Now coming to some facts, I read out some facts. Some facts means truth. Nijamu ne mata. Some fact that they nijamu truth. Ant and honey has never. Ant and honey never sleeps. Ant and honey bee never sleeps. Ant kisna. Ant and honey bee never sleeps. Simu, Simu, Jenu, it will never sleep. 
butterflies taste with their feet butterflies taste with their feet albatross is a bird can fly when it while it flies albatross albatross bird can sleep while it flies albatross anedi oka bird oka pakshi adi fly chesetappudu nidra pothundanta it will be there in the sky for one year or two years very rarely it comes down for laying eggs otherwise no it will be there only chase chestunna chapter kada adi tappadu so it doesn't know whether it is a blue color or a green color or violet or yellow or red so bulls are color blind mosquito has 47 teeth mosquito has 47 teeth and only female mosquito bites male will not bite something nature like lioness will hunt tigers will hunt lion and tiger won't hunt and more <coughs> dolphins sleep with eyes wide open kannu teskone panukuntundi anta dolphin you can see in water dolphins sleep with eyes open more dogs in paris than people paris lo manushil kana kukku ni ekku antaru more dogs in paris than people octopus has three hearts octopus has three hearts earthworm has five hearts earthworm manpurgu antar earthworm has five hearts cow has four stomachs these are some of the facts cow has four stomachs fish has no eyelids can replicate fish has no eyelids human heart is there is it in the left or the right everybody says sir human my heart is in the left side sir no it is wrong the human heart is in the middle it is in the center it is tilted towards left that is what the doctors will take the stethoscope to test your heart beat they keep that stethoscope on the left hand side not on the right hand side because it is tilted towards left <coughs> the only female mosquito bites help 24 gante sep lokka neer taagali taagakapothe chatapodu nashipothundi it will die elephants can't survive for 24 hours without drinking water fish don't feel pain because they don't have brain system fish chaapa chaapa ni kodte daniki pain telidanta because it doesn't have a brain system it would have been good for the man no a teacher kodte parvala nupicheladu police or kodte parvala nupicheladu atla manasi kundunte ent tappu chestuntadu manasi isn't it so we have the feeling of pain anything hurts it's a pain but fish doesn't have doesn't know the pain because it doesn't have the brain system bat is the only mammal which flies bat means bavuli raatlo untu kada that is called what is the characteristic of a mammal a mammal has hair on its body man ears mammal give birth to young ones mammal give birth to young ones mammal has mammary glands so these are the characteristics of mammal simply cannot call a mammal so horse is a mammal tiger is a mammal lion is a mammal giraffe is a mammal camel is a mammal so all these called are mammal bird is not a mammal it will not give birth to young ones bird doesn't have ears it has got inner ear or one more thing snake snake can't hear because it doesn't have ear సర్పక్కివి ఏమో చెప్తారు కదా పామకి చెవు లేదనమాట దాన్ని వినపడదు సో అది ఇట్లా ఆడితే అది నోట్స్ అంతే ఇట్ కాంట్ హియర్ అండ్ స్నేక్ డజంట్ డ్రింక్ మిల్క్ వి హ్ గోట్ ది ఫాల్స్ కన్సెంప్షన్ లైక్ దట్ అసెంప్షన్ ఫాల్స్ అసెంప్షన్ దట్ వి పోర్ మిల్క్ ఇన్ ది పుత్తు జస్ట్ కాల్ యాంట్ హిల్ పుత్తు మేము పాలు పోస్తాం కదా దానికి పేరు యాంట్ హిల్ ఏంటి యాంట్ హెచ్ఐలెన్ ఓ పాల్ పామ్ పాల్ తప్పు తాగుదు బికాస్ ఇట్ హాస్ గట్ టూ టాంక్స్ ఇట్ కాన్ డ్రింక్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో ప్రూఫ్ నో బడి హస్ హోల్డ్ దట్ ద స్టేక్ డ్రింక్స్ ఇట్ డజంట్ డ్రింక్ మిల్క్ ఇట్ డజంట్ హ్యావ్ యువర్ హౌస్ దెర్ ఇస్ అబౌట్ ద స్టేక్ లైట్ ట్రావెల్ ఫాస్టర్ దెన్ సౌండ్ లైట్ ట్రావెల్స్ ఫాస్టర్ దెన్ సౌండ్ లైట్ వచ్చి సౌండ్ కదా ఫాస్టర్ పోతుంది డ్యూరింగ్ దివాళీ you see the rocket sent above you could see the light first then sound crocodile has a tongue but it doesn't use it 
it has a tongue its tongue will be at the top of the upper jaw crocodile was in top countries where the quality of water is good <clears throat> in top countries where the quality of water is good the first country sweden second canada third japan fourth france fifth russia sixth italy seventh uk united kingdom eighth is germany and ninth is australia sorry us and the 10th is 9th is our us the 10th is australia these are the 10 countries where you can find pure water but in india we don't know where it's at 74th position or 90th position believe but still water is apur kuda bagne unda giraffe cannot make a sound because it doesn't have a vocal cords giraffe ochi sound cheyidu then vocal cords lead and it has a maximum bp because heart is here heart is here but the neck is very so it has to reach the brain the heart has to pump blood to the brain so it has got the highest blood pressure the gestation period of elephant gestation period ante pregnancy the gestation period of elephant is 22 months then garbalo is 120 kg it gives but once in 5 years so man gives but once in every 10 months he can give but there is an opportunity of giving but once in 10 months so that is called ladies when they are pregnant they call it is called pregnancy period in case of man it is called gestation period so it takes 22 months to give it gives the expiry date led 50 samasthalu pettochu 100 samasthalu pettochu him mix cheyakodu bagane untundi that is called the deficient cases honey doesn't have an expiry date the male elephant is called bull i told you the female is called cow the baby elephant is called calf i repeat the male elephant is called bull the female elephant is called cow the baby elephant is called calf the biggest country in the world is russia the biggest country in the world is russia dog has 42 teeth ostrich runs faster than the horse ostrich is known as the flightless bird at the pine agarudu chana heavy untundi it is called the flightless bird it runs faster than horse 42% of the doctors in america are indians 42% of the doctors in us are indians three things which grow in the human body is nail hair and liver when you cut the liver that is called liver transplantation they will not take the entire liver they will cut it in scoops and place it in the patient there also it grows the person who has donated the liver also for him also it grows so the operation is very very expensive but that is called transplantation of the liver the three things which goes which grows in the human being cut is one is nail one is hair one is the liver the smallest country in the world is vatican city i already told you long back which has a, today you learned about the different types of genders i once again say masculine gender feminine gender masculine means male feminine means female common gender either male or female neuter gender means neither male nor female rendu nu kadane mata and i told you how to make sentences with i you can make hundreds and hundreds of sentences with i either it can be positive or negative okay i am a student no i am not a student i am a teacher like you can say anything you can say about ing kennels and about some facts what i read you so this if you remember yes and tomorrow and day after tomorrow there is no class because of sunday and saturday saturday and sunday i wish you a very happy weekend enjoy your weekend and go through what all i have made a you recollected to recollect it what all i have taught in the previous classes that will be better so i shall start i we shall see you i shall see you on monday at the same time thank you very much good night